So I'm sitting here with my buddy Charles, Ordinary Coffee in Jom Tien, Thailand. And I sat down with him about a month ago when he was getting ready to move to Thailand. He was getting ready to come here. He was all giddy and talking about like how he prepared and everything. I'm going to play that video for you guys first. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a follow-up with him and I sitting right here talking about you know, his expectations, what he thought was going to happen, and how it's been since he's arrived. So uh, subscribe to my channel, and the next video will pop up tomorrow. So this guy right here, my buddy Charles, is getting ready to make the big move to Thailand. And we're going to talk about the steps that he took to do it, and is he doing this the right way? What's up, guys? It's Greeny. I'm an expat, American that is basically living in Thailand for about the last four years. However, right now I'm in Michigan preparing to go back to Thailand. What a regretful experience this was this time in America. As you can see, we're bundled up and it's only the beginning of September, but my buddy Charles, he's been out to Thailand. How many times have you been out there? Three times. And you're getting ready to kind of really dip your toes in the water this time, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, uh, you came three times, you decided you wanted to maybe maybe check to see if it's a possible life for you there. Yeah. And so you retired from your job when, about how long ago? About six weeks ago I retired from my job. Okay, so now your first couple times out to Thailand, did you, uh, like what made you think you may want to relocate, you know, out of the country to a different place? I think my first three times out there, I got my feet wet. Uh, I got a chance to get a vibe for, for the country. Everything was beautiful. People very friendly, cost of living very reasonable, and uh, the climate is the best. So I thought maybe I'd give it a try and see. Okay. Now, uh, so what's your plan right now? How, like, what, what, what do you see your plan for the next year? Like, what are you gonna do to, um, have you already checked different areas? Have you got an idea of where you, you know, you're gonna um, target certain areas to maybe live? Like, are you planning on, doing a, a hotel, short lease, long lease? Like, what do you, what's your plans? Well, uh, I checked uh, some of the more southern region of the country, uh, Pattaya area, Jom Tien, Na Jom Tien, and also uh, Pratamnak. And uh, I like that area down that way. Uh, it's really nice down there, a lot of expats. Uh, English is a, a very well used language there, and the cost of living is great. I think I'm going to get a, a one-year lease to start things out at a condo uh, there and see how see where it takes me. Okay. What what other areas did you check out? I've been to Bangkok. I've been to a bunch of the islands. The islands are a bit more expensive and uh, more touristy, and I wanted something that's a little bit laid back, but yet enough life, uh, enough uh, nightlife to keep me busy. What other like cities have you checked out in the south, like more uh, south of Bangkok? I first went to Krabi, uh, really beautiful, seeing the PP Islands and stuff like that. It was really beautiful there. Then I went to uh, Phuket, stayed there for a while. It was really nice there also. Then Koh Samui was beautiful, went there, enjoyed that time there, and um, hit a, a, a few other places. But uh, I've been around the first, you know, and also Wahian. Wahian was a great place too. Uh, I love okay. Wahian, that was great. But you kind of got your set sight on like Jom Tien or Pratamnak is? Yes, yes. Pretty why, much. What, what do you think you prefer more about that area than say Hua Hin or Phuket? I think Hua Hin and Phuket are great places. Uh, it's just a little difficult to go from Hua Hin to uh, Pattaya and that's a kind of a place where a lot of expats go. But also Hua Hin is beginning to be a, a hot spot for expats too. But I, I think I just prefer the Pattaya area, but I don't want to be central Pattaya because it's just insane party nightlife and I'm a little too old for that and I don't want to deal with all of that. Okay. So you've uh, made friends or contacts in, in that area? Um, yes, I have over 250 contacts uh, in the Pratamnak. Uh, From what, joining area. groups on like Facebook or online and stuff uh, like that? I met some or? guys down there. My, uh, my third, the past time I went down there, the third time down, I met some guys down there when I was in Pratamnak. And uh, we got together and I linked in with them and, and we just have a chat group going. And it's like 250 plus strong right now of expats. 
Really? And do most of them live there or they come and go or what? Most of them live there. Most of them live there or either have long-term leases and they come back and forth depending on what their visa status is. Okay. So what do you plan on doing as far as visa? Like, so you didn't, you're you just going to go and what, what, what's, what's your visa? What are you going to do? What's your plan for a visa? Well, right now uh, I am lucky enough that the Royal Thai Embassy has uh, just changed laws recently where it gives us uh, 60 days on just a passport uh, before you have to leave. And I'm going to do that 60, uh, close to 60 days, and I'm going to leave for a short period of time, go to another country, then return for maybe another 30 days before I return to the U.S. and make some decisions at that time. But uh, I do plan on getting a one-year uh, visa. When I get down there, I'm going to apply for that, and then eventually, maybe sometime next year, get the 10-year uh, LTR visa. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, you got to be retired for a while, collect a pension and different things. You can't get that immediately right after you retire. Right. You got to show like a year or two of uh, passive uh, income. Yeah. 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 So that might be a good one if you can if you can get the right numbers for that. Yeah. Um, and you're going to look for a lease, like a one year lease. Now, you said yeah. you're going to go and then make some decisions when you come back. Once if you decide you don't like it after three months, I mean, you've been there three times. Well, you know but what? You I really mean, think you're going to spend most of your time the next year I, there? I do really believe that's where I'm going to be. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm going to take a step out on faith and take a one year lease. Also, the, the terms are better for a one-year lease versus a month-to-month -month lease. And uh, I think I, I've been there enough to get a feel for it. And I think even if I do come back and say, hey, I want to stay in the U.S. or keep a place in the U.S., I will return and at least enjoy the majority of that one-year lease there. So what's your, are you planning on keeping a place in America? Or do you think if you, like, what, what's your well, plan on, uh, like, we're, we're at your house right now freezing our asses off. It's only beginning <laughs> of September. And... Uh, you know, I can see why you picked a good time to get the hell out of here because it's like the temperature just dropped from 80 to 50. Yeah, in a matter of a couple of days. I, uh, I'm i going to have, it's going to be a tough decision. I love my home here in Michigan. Uh, however, it's a huge task, a huge undertaking to try to live in two different countries and that far away from one another. It's quite the flight to get there, quite the distance. And uh, I'm going to have to make some tough decisions in the, in the next few months. I think with the interest rate, possibly dropping the first of year sometime in 2025 uh it will make it easier to sell my home and get what i want for it that's if i choose to sell right well you'll just have to see how it goes you know yes. um what are you gonna do with your like what do you golf like what do you like why are you going to thailand why did you pick why are you picking thailand over i know remember we went to panama that one time but yeah. you've, you've traveled around a little bit why are you picking thailand and what do you plan on doing to occupy your time when you get there? Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, just Thailand is a, a great place to be. You can access a lot of other Asian countries from there. It's really in a great location geographically, globally. And uh, I, like the, I like the standard of living. I like the way people live there. I like traditional things. I like the food. I like the culture. I enjoy the culture and the people there are great. The traditional uh, women. Uh, yeah, that that's always great too. I mean, you know, the many of them are women. down to earth, you know, but you gotta. Yeah, you no think you're gonna get into the bar scene or anything? Oh no, I'm too old for that. I won't do that. So uh, what are you gonna do? I uh, I'm just gonna go out there. I'm, I plan on doing some writing. Eventually, I want to uh, maybe even do some vlogging. Uh, it depends on uh, the set of circumstances, but I do want to do some writing. I'm gonna spend my days. I like to. I enjoy working out. I enjoy playing golf. Uh, maybe they even have pickleball over there. I want to they get did, I think, in, in Pratamnak, right by where you're going. I think they just opened a facility. Yes, and so I want to enjoy that time doing that there. And another thing I like about, uh, you know, being there in Thailand is the infrastructure is great. They're building new freeways that are really nice. They have great internet, uh, great power service. You know, I live here in the states, and uh, you think, okay, we're first world country. However. There's been times in my neighborhood where the power goes out and it's out for several days. I never oh, yeah. experienced that in Thailand. It's just different. It happens, but yeah, your neighborhood, like you said, it goes out a lot over here yeah. for some reason. I don't. It's, it's weird. It's always the same thing, and they, they and we're like one of the last ones to get our power back on. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll tell them I did help them out to set up a YouTube channel yesterday. What do you? All right, so what it's going to be called? My YouTube channel is going to be called The Unrestricted Free Agent. And it's kind of reflects. What does that mean? Are you a professional football player or something? Or? No, it's a kind of a, a reflection of how I'm living these days. I'm retired. I don't really have ties to anything. My children are grown and out of the house, so I can travel as I see fit. 
and I'm not really right. tied down to any one place. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. I won't put this video up. He's got to put get a video or two up on his channel before I even put this video up. So by the time I get the video up, I want to make sure he has like an introductory uh, video up to explain what he's going to be covering on his channel. You, you want to do a lot of like kind of like you know, like not really vlogging, running all over, but more just sit down talking about subjects more, or something. More reaction or... stuff and some opinions. And I will also throw in an occasional story of, of about my life, something that may be of interest and funny or, you know, you might find interesting. Uh, but during my 60 years of living and working, knowing this guy for over 30 years, we've got, I've got some stories to tell and it might be of interest. We got a funny story the first day you came to work. Where I worked, when yes. we worked together the first day, 20, 30 years, however long uh, ago that was. plus years ago, yeah. That was, I'll let you tell that story on your, uh, on your channel. Yeah. But, um, so once you arrive, you're going to kind of stay three months, then you're going to shoot back home, check on your house. Yes. And if, and how long do you think you'll come back to Michigan in, like, you said you're Probably. coming December. Like, how long yeah. do you think you're going to stay here for? I might be here about six weeks. Wow. And then I'll come back to uh, Thailand because I just, I can't. I'm not into these winters. I mean, even though they've gotten a lot milder, I'm just not into the cold anymore. If you don't have to be here for work, then why not be somewhere where it's warm and pleasant during the winter months? So you're not really 1,000% committed yet because if you were, you would not be making any plans to come back anytime during the winter. But I guess we'll revisit this. Well, if they follow your channel, they'll know what you're doing. But maybe we'll do another interview after you do that initial three months. And then if you come back, then to know what you're serious plan is going to be about your house and everything else um it'll be pretty interesting so but i think as a newbie you did things kind of the right way you've been there three times you've explored the different areas you kind of you know you know me i'm in a certain area you've met a bunch of other guys you kind of got it set up the way you want it close to the airports i think that's important yes. um you know you'll have to also see uh, during the burning season you know how you react to it there um, when you get back after January, you know, it'll start getting a little smoky in that area. That's, that's an issue. Yeah. Um, but, but as you've shown on some of your past shows, there are places to go nearby that's in Southeast Asia that don't have as much of a, right. A but you're going to rent a one year lease somewhere. Then you're going to just leave that and go to another place for a while. You think, or I plan on bouncing around a little bit. I might spend, you know, just to get a break, maybe spend three, four weeks away and come mm -hmm. back, uh, and, but I do plan on having that as my base in Asia is to be in Thailand and maybe the Prada Mat Jom Tien area. Well, I think it's a big thing that you worked till you knew you had the right amount of money put away. You've explored the area, kind of got an idea of where you want to stay. Like, you know, I know people that just blindly leave. I know some people that they come and, they, you know, they didn't plan out their finances well. You know, so, I mean, this video, the kind of the premise is that you, you kind of, you know, are doing things the right way to, you know, you're doing it slowly. Some people just do it and go and everything works out great and it's perfect. But, you know, you've been really meticulous about this process of moving uh, overseas. I mean, kind of, I think you're going to, you're going to figure out the biggest mistake you made is you didn't do it. Once you get there, you're going to be like, I should have done it two years ago because I could have afforded, but I was over, you know, over worried. I to make sure you had all your ducks in a row, but I think you'll yeah. see you should have done it earlier. That's what most people say. And I get that feeling every time I'm out there. When, I'm, when it's time to come back, it's like a sadness. It's like you begin to be down maybe the day before. And I say to myself, why am I going back to the matrix here in the United States? Why don't I just stay? And so I'm one of those kind of guys that I'm pragmatic when it comes to thinking about stuff like move, big moves. I take my time. I try to make sure I cover most everything so I don't have regrets. And I think this is uh, going to be a permanent solution for me to uh, move to uh, Thailand but I just want to make sure that I can get my house sold in a timely manner also yeah. so I'm not stuck. With this. Now, do you think this midwinter break that you're going to come back, when was if you're there for three months, do you think there's any chance, like especially if you get this retirement visa in these few months that you're there, do you think, I mean, you know yourself, is there any chance you may say, yeah, you know what, I'll have my daughter check on my house. I'm not coming back this winter. That's always, think, it's always a positive. What do you think the odds are that you just I mean, say, that you, you know just what? say, you know what, I'm, I'm not coming back to the spring and then I'm going to, just sell my, I mean, you might be like, 
Mm. This is that it. could happen. That very well could. I could say is that an option say, for you. I would say that's a probably a fifty fifty chance of okay. that happening because uh, I do have a daughter here in Michigan and she checks on my property when I'm gone, and so I feel somewhat comfortable in that in that respect. But granted, with the cold and what have you, you have to have your house monitored regularly. Uh, so you don't have major problems mm. due to the freezing conditions. However, uh, I think there's a good possibility I may just do that and stay there and then sell my house in sometime late spring, May or June, or, yeah, May, April or May. Like yeah. Seven. All right, dude, uh, check out his channel, The Unrestricted Free Agent. You won't be able to search it because it's too new. I'll put a link in the description. And... Uh, We'll see how he does. Should be interesting seeing a newbie story kind of just starting on Thailand and the progression of, you know, actually living there full time if that's what happens. And it'll be a good story. It'll be a good uh, thing for people that are considering it to watch and, and see see what you do. Maybe go through all the steps that you do when you go to get the visa and and just, you know, the, you know what directs your uh, decisions and, and whatnot. But all right. If you guys enjoyed the video, please follow. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Greeny out.